Yes, I would like to welcome to the stage. I'm just going to say Arthur. He's from. Uh, he's the PR manager from uh, Sunreef Yachts, and he's working in um, in brand messaging and communication strategy. And we're very curious to hear what you have to say. Welcome, Arthur. Hi, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for the introduction. Um, yeah, we have the trickiest names, right? I come from Poland, and uh, I don't blame you, right? So the name is Yusei Powotański. Right, but that's, that's not easy, right? <laughs> okay, well, good. So uh, I want to start by thanking Blue Innovation Doc uh, for having us here. Uh, oh, thanks so much. Uh, Sam Reef Yachts, we really appreciate every single opportunity to talk about our electric yachts. And we're at the boat Dusseldorf, so quite, a, quite an opportunity uh, for us. So thank you again. Uh, before I tell you about the electric yachts that, uh, that we make, a little introduction on, uh, on Sam Reef Yachts uh, about our shipyard in general. Uh, so Sunri Fiat is a story that began uh, 20 years ago, in, uh, more than 20 years ago now, in 2002, uh, with a gentleman, a French businessman, uh, looking for a luxury catamaran. Uh, and this is where he realized 20 years ago such product was non-existing. There was no such thing. A catamaran was used for sports, and if there were leisure catamarans out there, they had a plastic feel to them. They were not luxury boats. They were the, uh, the RVs of, of the seas, so not the kind of standard that, uh, that he was looking for. So he decided to build one for himself, a luxury catamaran. He thought, I am going to build the nicest catamaran in the world, which he did. In 2003, he launched the world's first, we can say the first catamaran to have super yacht quality. So fast forward to 2023. Today, we have Rafael Nadal, who owns the Sunri Fiat, uh, Nico Rosberg, uh, Formula One champion Fernando Alonso, is building one with us. So the status is here. And on top of that, Sunri Fiat, we like to say we lead kind of a revolution in electric yachting. Uh, and I'm going to explain why revolution is a word that is very present in the marketing game. Very aware of that. Everyone likes to use it because it's like a promise. When you hear revolution, then you kind of think maybe there's a breakthrough somewhere. Um, we like to promise things, but we're also good in delivering on a promise. I'm going to explain how we do it um, in the next couple of slides. So everything starts with the, right, or with the right mindset. I think from the outset, from the very beginning in 2002, it was clear for us that catamarans will burn less fuel than a standard monohull. Uh, that was obvious. They, they, they have less draft. They generate less drag. So the fuel efficiency uh, is there. Uh, a couple of years later, everyone gradually realized with the rise of solar power solutions that catamarans are just wide and they offer a lot of space uh, for solar panels. But we did, I think, so much more than this. With the Sunri Fiat's Eco Catamarans, we, um, we started by reassessing every aspect of our boats. It's not just about building electric boats and handing them over to the customers. It's about reassessing everything that we do, below the waterline, inside the yacht, outside, in the structure itself. So today, we have a full range of electric yachts, both sailing and power. Uh, but first, I want to direct your attention to this yacht. It's a bit special to us. Uh, her name is Marie-Joseph, uh, and she belongs to the company founder, Mr. Francis Lapp. And after 20 years in the business, he thought, I'm going to build another yacht for myself and possibly maybe find some time to enjoy some time off on board. Uh, Marie and Joseph are the names of his parents, and he's built this yacht um, partly as a tribute to his parents. And on the other side, this is also a yacht that is we like to say it's on a mission. It, uh, we premiered her in Cannes, and then she went to the Monaco Yacht Show. And all the way from Monaco, she sailed to Dubai, stopping over at various places, various lifestyle events, um, and just being there available, you know, and being the first demo boat that we have. It's the first because we, all, we, we build custom-made boats. We don't have demo boats. This is our first demo boat, and we feel that it had to be electric because we want to invite people on board and tell them, look, there is a more reasonable way to enjoy the oceans. Um, and the other point, I think, that we want to explain, and it's very important to our customers, 
there is no compromise on luxury. There is a way to keep a high level of luxury and at the same time, energy efficiency. So this is Marie Joseph, our first yacht to feature um, some new groundbreaking, we like to say groundbreaking solutions. I'm going to explain why. Um, she features composite integrated solar panels. We're the only ones to do this. Um, there's plenty of things that happen spontaneously at Stern Reef. We have a company CEO who likes to spend his entire days at the shipyard building boats, and late at night when he comes home, he likes to think about boats again. Um, and this one night, he had this idea to cover an entire boat in solar panels. A um, bit of an eccentric idea, but he started working on that, and the research and development team, uh, it took us a while, but today we're actually able to integrate the solar cells into composite. That means every curved structure on board can be covered in solar panels. What that also means is that we don't use glass as a support for the solar panels. So the weight advantage is obvious. A, the standard solar panel that you will see in the industry uses glass as support, and it's very heavy. It weighs between 8 and 15 kilograms per square meters. Um, our solar panels weigh 1.8 kilograms per square meters. And an 80-foot catamaran, like Marie-Joseph, uh, can accommodate up to 200 square meters of solar panels. And those will deliver, at peak performance, uh, the power that is delivered normally by two generators. So the, the solar panels are something that is really, solar power is something that is really dear to us. And we also integrate them not only in the, the side of the hulls, but you can see in the mast as well. So this is a way to maximize energy efficiency on board. Uh, green propulsion is the most obvious thing, but it's, uh, it also makes sense to stop over here for a second. The Stern Reef Yacht's eco catamarans are not only electric, but also where we feel is suitable, we also have hybrid solutions, and we're also building a hydrogen Stern Reef 80 for one of our customers. Um, last but not least, the greenest way to move uh, a yacht is sailing, and our sailing catamarans are all equipped with a hydro generation system. So when you're not using your engine and you're sailing, your propellers keep turning, there's a way to recover energy from that motion. So it's all about energy efficiency and adapting the propulsion to the given type of catamaran. The batteries that we use, batteries are a very important factor in the, um, in the industry, um, actually crucial. And uh, right here, it's all about establishing a good partnership. We have a very solid partner who, uh, who designed battery packs, especially for Sun Reef yachts, and they're custom engineered. That means we have a very uh, wide range of, uh, of catamarans. We have a Sun Reef 50, 60, 70, 80. Every, uh, every catamaran has a dedicated battery pack that was custom engineered by our partners. And our batteries, the batteries that we use, we put a lot of focus on uh, power density. Uh, they have a density of around, I think, five kilograms per uh, kilowatt hour. That, mean, that makes them 30% lighter than what is used commonly in the industry. Weight and power, again, crucial factors. Um, air conditioning is one of the biggest consumers on board. Uh, so this, again, here is about finding the right partnership, find, finding the right suppliers, and establishing a solid relationship. And right now, we use a system that uses around 50% less energy than a standard uh, air conditioning system. And on top of that is a lot uh, lighter. Air conditioning, if you want to call your boat uh, sustainable, you really want to focus on that. Sustainable yacht decor, is, uh, that is something that is very, very dear to us. Sun Reef Yachts is a manufacturer of, um, of custom-made boats. Every time we meet new customers, families usually, we shake hands and we spend a lot of time together before we come up with a design. And we like to hear their ideas and we like to submit our ideas. And what we do with the, uh, the eco range is that we like to suggest solutions. We like to say, well, why don't we use a recycled material or reclaimed material? Or why don't we replace animal skin with this, with that? And on this particular interior, you see, uh, the floors are made of, uh, of reclaimed teak. The countertops that you see are made of recycled cardboard and paper. Uh, but there's also interesting, uh, an interesting thing about this project. It's, um, we also learn a lot from our customers. Every time you meet someone with an original idea, 
we like to implement it and, and kind of offer it to the next customer. So for example, this customer said, why don't we give every single cabin a distinct color scheme, and why don't we give it matching sets of towels and glasses? That way, when I'm staying in the, let's say, orange cabin, I know that my glass is orange, and I know that my towel is orange. That way, I don't mix them up with the other guests. That way, I don't have to wash them all the time. And that way, I will save water, and I will save energy. It's, the, it's all about the little details. And when we meet customers like this, we use them as an inspiration, and it's always a creative process. Where uh, the custom-made boat business is is really interesting, but it, it's not about building the same boat all all over again. It's about reinventing things constantly, and we're uh, we're very proud to do this and and to partner with uh, with our customers on this journey. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's a 360 approach. We like to reassess everything that we do, everything about our boats, but it's an ongoing process, and uh, it never ends. And uh, today, one of, the, one of the focuses that we have, um, apart from everything that I've mentioned already, um, is also the fact that we're working on uh, greener composite structures. Uh, right now, we're working on implementing basalt fiber and, uh, and flex fiber into the structures. We start with smaller structures, with bar modules for our yachts, and gradually trust we will expand to bigger and bigger structures and offer greener composite structures. So it's an ongoing process. It's, um, it's about reassessing every single aspect of your boat. It's not just about delivering an electric, uh, an electric boat. We have to go further than that. Um, and it's all about the right mindset, and I believe we have it. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for having us at the uh, Blue Innovation Dock. And uh, if you have any questions, I'll be, uh, I'll be around. Uh, again, thank you so much. Just, uh, just have one question. Yes. So you said the solar panels. So you don't, you're not using glass. So what are you using then? We're integrating them into the composite structure. So there's a way to laminate them into the structure. I'm not going into technical okay. details because I can't. It's a company okay. secret, and we're the only ones to do this. And uh, oh. yeah, we. We're, um, this, is the, this is a huge advantage in terms of weight and in terms of, uh, of efficiency. Yeah. Uh, and so, you, so, for, so are you already working on, a, on the, the, next, um, the next one? Yes. And that yes. one, you'll use the biocomposite materials? Uh, in smaller structures, for now, yes. Um, it's a process. It's something that we have to develop. It's, uh, it's a really complex process, but we're starting with smaller structures. We have bar modules, for instance. So a bar with a sink and an ice maker fridge, uh, those were able to make them out of uh, greener composite with okay. flax fiber, basal fiber, and then gradually, of course, we'll expand to bigger structures. Okay. Do you have a stand at the show? Yes. And at, where uh, is it? Uh, it's at the Hall 7A. 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 Okay. So all and and to, you can uh, see yeah. this boat? Mm, on a picture, in a nice okay. picture of the boat. Yes. It's not there. It's an 80-foot yacht. It's, uh, it's massive. Okay. And, uh, yeah, it would be very but tricky to see But if we want to see it here. for real, where is it right now? So the next uh, opportunity to see her will be the Dubai International Boat Show. Okay. Um, plenty of sunlight there to test the solar panels. And uh, yes, if you happen to be at the Dubai Boat Show, you're more than welcome to visit us. And, and in Europe, where would be the next place and in Europe? And then next... Well, Will possibly the Cannes Can Festival. Possibly Cannes Festival. I don't know if this one specifically or, a, or another one, but we're building, uh, you know, uh, we're building a series of these solar yachts. So you will see more and more. So possibly Cannes. Cannes and not Monaco. Maybe Monaco. We, okay. we actually took this boat to, uh, to the Monaco Yacht Show. We okay. really like to show it in Monaco because uh, in Monaco, it, 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 it really looks like the... Um, the alternative for the yeah. big monohulls. Yeah. And there's a lot of people stopping over and saying, oh, this is different. OK, yeah. wh what is this? It's an electric camera. And it strikes people as something refreshing. OK, maybe I don't have to buy a huge fuel guzzling monohull. Maybe yeah. I can go for this. Yeah. Oh, the level of finish is the same. Why not? Yeah, yeah. OK, no, because if it's in Cannes or Monaco, I'm going to come and see. <laughs> Feel free. <laughs> All right. welcome on board. Yeah. OK, thank you so much, Arthur. Thank you. And